Alright, this is going to be a uh, tutorial on how to make Earth or any planet you want in Photoshop CS4. And I think that this technique can be transferred to CS3. I haven't tried it, but I think that most of these are the same in CS3 as they are in CS4. So, Alright, well to start off, um, I have this Earth texture, and there's a link in the description on where you can get this. Um, or you can use any texture you want. And, you know, it's always good to improvise and just try new things. But for this one, I'm going to be using this earth texture. And so just uh, put it into Photoshop and we'll get started. Alright, so you start off with your basic thing. And I'm going to, go into, uh, going to go into New. And I'm going to set my width to 15, my height to 10, and my resolution to uh, 300. Then I'm going to go and... Uh, drag and drop this into there and then you're going to want to resize it I'm going to resize mine to pretty big and yeah, that'll probably work and then enter uh, control T to free transform it by the way and once you do that control J to duplicate that and it's just good to have a duplicate around there's no real uh, need for that but if you mess up something it's always good to know that you have a backup Alright, so our layer 1 here, um, I'm going to go ahead and go to the elliptical marquee tool, hold shift to keep it in proportion, and click and drag, and make a big cut out of it. And then control J to cut that piece out. And so if you uh, uh, disable layer 1 by clicking the eye, you'll end up with this. And so that's a... Uh, that's a pretty good start. I'm going to go ahead into our background and push Control I, and that will make it black. All Control I is is uh, invert, so that's a, a handy way of just making the background black real quick. All right, so now that we have this. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate uh, this layer, and I'm going to call the top one Earth, and I'm going to call the bottom one Shading. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to disable Earth for now, and we're going to control click the icon for shading. And what that does is it puts a selection around the uh, Earth. And so that's uh, a handy thing to know. You're going to need to know that if you're going to get into Photoshop heavily. And so once you've done that, you're going to uh, want to fill all of that with black. Now you can do that any way you want. I'm just going to go ahead and take the brush real quick, increase my opacity to 100, and uh, fill it in. Alright, and I just used a hard brush for that, but it doesn't really matter how you fill it in with black. But once you've done that, you can uh, no, notice that that layer is now black, just like the background. And uh, then you're going to want to push Control i and make it white. Or you can just fill it in with white in the first place and uh, pay attention like I should have been. But anyways, um, once you've done that, you're going to want to go into your gradient tool and make sure that you have uh, radial gradient on and then you're gonna if you want you can hold shift and go at diagonal it doesn't really matter whether or not you hold shift just any direction you want and do that and you'll notice that you end up with that and it's kind of a interesting uh, effect for a planet when you think about it but it's not complete you know it's kind of hard to believe that lighting would really look like that so I'm going to take my brush tool and make sure you have a soft brush selected to make this look more, more realistic. Set my brush to around 75% or so. And I'm going to color in a little bit of uh, the uh, circle like that. So that will give it a, a cool look right there. And then once you've done that, you can uh, go ahead and enable your earth layer again. Now select your earth layer and set it to overlay. And you'll notice that it gives it a pretty cool looking um, effect, but it isn't, uh, the, the light over here is too intense and it's too dark down here, so you're going to want to go back and select your shading again and just um, uh, tweak it a little bit. So I'm going to set my opacity fairly low, maybe 20% or so, and on black and start shading a little bit more of this white away to make it not as intense, and a little bit more of this... Uh, black a little bit darker and so there we go that's looking better 
So now that we have the shading uh, done, we won't need that for a few minutes, so we'll go to back to Earth. With Earth, what, you have to make sure that you've control clicked the icon so that you still have the selection around it. Then go to Filter, Distort, and Spherize. Uh, spherize, the amount should be set to 100, Mode Normal, and then just OK. What you'll notice that does is it gives it a little bit more of a 3D look. It uh, rounds it out. And that's a very useful tool for a bunch of things. And plus you can do all sorts of effects and everything. So that's a good tool to be familiar with. And if you notice, it's starting to look much more 3D now than it was when we first started. So that's it's a big improvement. And you can go ahead and uh, control D to get rid of the selection at this point. So it's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to go ahead and into my uh, earth uh, pa uh, layer here. And if you just double click it, it'll bring up this menu. And this is the layer style menu. Now if you do uh, outer glow, for instance, I think we'll start with that. And you can increase the size and it looks pretty good. It's that default yellow. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change the default yellow to maybe a teal. Yeah, I think a teal will work good for the Earth's atmosphere, because that's what we're making at the moment. So now that we have our atmosphere going, I'm going to increase the range quite a bit to thin it out, and maybe decrease the size to where it's not, not very far from the Earth. And that's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to go into uh, Inner Glow, and I'm just going to keep the default yellow for this one, and increase the size to where you can't just barely see the glow coming off, and then increase the range a little bit too. What the range does is it thins it out and uh, makes it a little bit where you can see under it more. And inner shadow, you should go ahead and add some of that and just, you, you can play with these settings however you want on any, any planet you're wanting to do. Um, for Earth, I usually use these same settings and have at it, but you know, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you know, that's one of the things of Photoshop, you can go crazy with it. But alright, that looks pretty good. So now that that's done, we're going to go to uh, Shading, double click just like we did Earth, and we're going to add an outer glow. And this time I'm going to keep it the default yellow and just barely add it off the surface, so it's just barely visible. And I'm going to push OK. And so now our Earth is looking pretty realistic. It's a very interesting effect. What you're going to, uh, going to want to do now is uh, to take Earth, right click it, and merge down. And that will make it so that you can move the entire thing. Uh, that's very useful. But we still have these effects going on it, and we don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and just add a layer under it, a blank layer, and then merge the earth layer down onto that again. And so now we have all the styles done. It's completely finished and done. So that looks pretty good. Um, now that we finish that, I need to rename it again, because it def by default renames it to whatever you merged it down onto. I'm going to rename it Earth. And if you want, you can go ahead and uh, duplicate that and move it out of the way so that you have a copy of it. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a lens flare to this real quick just to make it interesting. So I'm going to copy our black background and move it... Uh, well, actually, it'll just say where it is. And we're going to go to uh, Filter, Render, Lens Flare. You can add whatever lens flare you want. I'm going to go ahead and add... Eh, yeah, I think that one looks good. I'm going to just keep the brightness at 100 and do that. So that's a good looking effect. I'm also going to duplicate our background one more time and do the exact same process. Except for this time I'm going to do a movie prime uh, lens flare. And for each of these, by the way, they need to be set to lighten. Um, lighten so that they can be seen through through each other. And so that's pretty much our effect. One last thing we're going to do is we're going to add a layer mask to the earth. And with our black brush selected, just start filling in um, bits and pieces of it to add more of a shadow. As if it was really the light is really coming from over there, because those lens flares are supposed to be the sun, so. And you can just apply your layer mask when you're done. And also, if your lens flares are too strong, you can go ahead and uh, dim them out a little bit, too. 
All right, and that's the secret to making planets in Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, thanks a lot.